Hi everybody and welcome to your new video. Today we're going to be doing a 20 minute soft Brooklyn bar. So this video is going to be great in two instances and many more than that. But really if you're a beginner and you're not so sure about my Brooklyn bar methods and you're afraid to try a longer class or a more advanced class, or if you want to do bar but today you're not feeling your hottest self, again sometimes we want to work out but we're not feeling so good but we know that working out will make us feel better but we don't want to do too much, you know those days, right? This is the workout for this kind of days. All right, so for this workout you won't need any props, you can be barefoot, I recommend barefoot not in socks because it's going to get slippery otherwise. And then make sure you have a chair or a wall or a fireplace, something to hold on to for later and of course your yoga mat. Let's get started with a short warm up here. So you're going to take your feet a little wider than your mat, take a deep inhale here and you're going to exhale, bend knees. This is called plié and it's this position here with the feet apart is called à la seconde, okay? The names are in French because we're using the ballet terms and down and plié and down and plié. Hold it here, interlace your fingers, stretch it out right and left, very small. Right, left, for four, for three, for two, plie at the center. We go plie, point your right foot, plie, point your left foot, plie. So we're not going too fast today. Shoulders down, posture, posture. Two, little faster, same thing, plie, point, point and stretch that opposite leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plie center, bring your feet parallel. Bring your hands on your hips here. Lift your right knee, lift your left knee a little faster. Right, left, right. Let's review the positions, shall we? Keep doing this with your legs. First position with the arms. Second position. Fifth position. These are the positions we use. We're not going to use third and fourth today. Four more, three more, two more, one more. Here, falling forward. Bring your hands down, bend your knees. Step back to a plank. Right foot outside your hand. Open your right arm. All right, so nice and slow warm up here. Step back, switch. Inhaling, right? this is meant to stretch it out and back, right and down and back, left and down. One more time on each side and last time here. All right, let's just stretch those calves here from a plank. Take it downward facing down and try to send your heels down. We're going to do some releves. Lift your heels up and down. It's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Two more. Two. And one. Okay, walk your hands back. Bend the knees and you roll up. Okay, everyone. Nice work. We're going to finish our warm up here. We're going to do a little bit of arm work without any props, any weight. Stand here, arms straight to the side, low circles. So your warm up is now down, uh, now done, right? And now we're going to start right away with our bar movement. So this is a beautiful ballet dancer posture with the shoulders down here. Engage your abs and reverse your circles. So we're just starting to work on our arms. Today, no props, right? Again, this is our soft version. Eight more, seven, six, five, four. We're gonna close first, second, fifth, second. It looks like this, first, second, fifth. First, second, fifth, faster we go. So here, especially if those are, this is your first time doing Brooklyn Bar or first few times, you'll notice that you get to feel the burn without using weights. How awesome is that? Two more. Two. One. And hold here. Up. Bend. Up. 
band up. So yes, it's burning and we're not pausing, but it's on purpose because in Brooklyn Bar, we work the muscles until they fatigue everyone. All right, so that's the point. Let's do this faster for 16. Shoulders down. It's eight, seven, six, and then we're done. Four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, everyone, you're done with your warm up and your arm work. Go and grab your chair, and then we're going to work on our thighs. Okay, so you're going to stand so that your left hand is on your bar, on your fireplace. I'm just going to say the word bar, okay, even if you don't have an actual bar at home. You're going to take that second position which we took before, so feet are wide. Be careful, if your knees are further than your ankles in a second position plié, your feet are not apart enough. So make sure they're nice and apart so when you bend your knees you get here. Bring your arms here, we're going to do a grand plié, so it's all the way down, up and open the arm, okay? And then we'll do this again. So one, two, three, and four. Plie, one, two, and. You're gonna start feeling the thighs, and again, plie, and. Two more, plie, and. One more. Don't stick your butt out here. Now we're gonna just plie stretch. Plie, arm up. Plié, up. Plié, yeah, go a little deeper. You should start feeling this in your thighs, everyone. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Sit down. Lift your right heel, pulse it. Pulse it. If you have pain in your arm, not pain, but if you're feeling very, very sore in your arm, from all the work we did before, you can have your hand on your hip. If you want a little bit more of an advanced practice, come here. Eight more pulses. Eight, seven, six, stand straight and tall. Four, three, two, hold here. Bring your arm up, bring your other arm in front of you and hold low your hips. Four, three, two, and one, release. Okay, let's go on to the other side. So your right hand is on the bar and you take that second position, feet nice and wide here, complete. One and two, stretch three and arm on four. Make sure you don't stick your butt out, so stay straight and tall here. So sticking the butt out, we'll be doing this, yeah? So we're not doing that, it's not very graceful. And, and two counts, plié, and Good, here, little faster, we just go, plié, stretch. Open those knees, contract your outer thighs, right here, squeeze that. Four more, like this, four, three, two, Hold it down, lift your standing heel and pulse it. All right, so you should start feeling your thighs. Here, really lift your heel up. You might even feel your calf. Same thing, arm here or arm here. Good. Pulse at the center. Three, two, and hold it. Bring your arm up. Other arm in front of you and hold your posture for four, for three, for two, for one and release nice work everybody okay we're gonna let go of the thigh work okay that was it for today that was good enough for today and we're gonna do some glute work okay so for the next exercise we're going to place our forearms like this on your chair or on your fireplace if you're not feeling comfortable on your chair you flip it and you bring the hands onto the seat of the chair so you're facing the back of the chair this way okay so we're going to be here in what's a first position heels together toes apart and we're going to bend our knees and we're going to lean forward okay let me show you so my heels are together my toes are slightly apart and here i'm placing my forehead on my hands and i'm pointing my right foot 
Now we're gonna lift the right leg up for two counts without arching, right? So I don't want you to arch. You see the leg is turned out. And then down for two counts, okay? Make sure you keep your left knee bent. Let's go. Up for two and down for two. Up for two. So don't arch your back and contract your glute. Three and down. Four and down. Five, down. Six and down. Stretch your leg and point your back toes. Seven and down. And eight. Now the same thing on one count, everyone. So it is one and two. If it's burning in your standing butt cheek, it's normal as well, but try to contact the right butt cheek. And six, seven, eight, hold it, eight pulses. Eight, seven, stretch your legs. Six, five, four, three, two, hold, four, three, two, one, and you release. Nice work, okay, shake it out. Good, so you're going to feel it in your standing butt cheek, but try to think about the one that is working as well. Keep your back leg long, keep your other knee bent, okay? We're gonna do the second side. Switching whichever arm is on top, okay? Because we like balance here, it's you know ballet based. Everything has to be done on um, both sides. So bend your knees and point your left toes. Keep your right knee bent. No need to overturn out here, be careful, okay? Fold forward, we go up and down. Point your toes, stretch your left leg, contract your left glute. Three, down, four, down, six, down, two more, seven. Can you stretch your leg more? And eight, same thing, a little faster, eight. Seven, don't arch your back, contract your core. Four and more, four, contract. Three, good, two, hold it up, little pulse. It's eight, seven, six, bend your standing knee deeply. Three, two, hold it, four, three, two, one, and you release. Okay, everybody, nice work. You can place your chair away and take your mat so that we can work on our abs. Now that we're done with our leg and booty work, we come back on the mat so that we can work on our abs, okay? We're gonna start with an exercise that is really common in my bar classes because I'm really about the alignment, right? So if you're new to me, you learn soon, very soon, that I'm really about doing things properly. So you wanna have your back super flat on the mat. You have your knees over your hips here, and we are here, okay? So we have the hands behind the head, here and without arching the back you're gonna try lengthening your right leg long don't arch your back so don't let this happen that's very important and then bring it back in as you exhale try not to bring your knees close to you okay so we are here so it looks like this left leg and bring it in right leg and bring it in your navel is in if you're more advanced right and if you're feeling good you can do this with your shoulder blades lifted. It's gonna make it harder. Otherwise, stay exactly where you were. And again, the important is to keep your back flat. Don't forget. And again. We have four. And if you're doing my version, open your elbows wide, don't let them close. Yeah. And two. And one. And now we release. Okay. Nice work on this one. Good, good, good. Now we're going to do one here for the obliques. It looks like this. We're going to come point the right toes, bring your left elbow to your right knee, right? So here to the side. And then lengthen. So we go touch and down, keep your back flat. Two, and down. So you always wanna to try to find length in that leg here and point your toes. 
create space between your chin and your chest. Three more, three, long, two, try to open your elbows wide, last one, and now plant your foot down, switching sign, make sure you point your feet, and we go in and long, okay, that's your move, let's go. You should feel those obliques burning, and and good and really lift your chest up good three more lengthen two lengthen one and lengthen and then down nice work everybody Okay, let's do one last one for the road. Flex your feet here, hands here, or you do a little triangle and you place your hands underneath you so you keep your back flat, okay? Now, we're gonna bring the right leg here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, bring it up on eight. So switch, make sure you keep your back flat. Five, six, seven, navel is in, yes? Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and again. Keep your navel in everyone, that's important, right? So you want to work those deep muscles, yeah? Three, two, one, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time each side and you're done. Seven. Six, five, four, last effort. Two, one, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, nice work. Give yourself a well deserved hug. You're done with this 20 minute uh, Brooklyn, except. You need to stretch, you're not quite done. You're done with the hard part of it, okay? So plant your feet down, lift your hips up, and then just breathe into your belly. One more inhale, and then exhale. Okay, lengthen your left leg on the floor, stretch your right leg, so again, when I stretch, maybe I go to some distance that seems inaccessible to you now. This is not what I'm expecting you to do. It's because I want to feel the stretch too, so I go to my maximum. I've worked at my maximum for years, okay? So don't let yourself be intimidated by this. So if your maximum is here, please go here. I just don't want to show here because very selfishly, I would really just love to find a stretch myself, okay? But you do what you can and that's the most important, okay? It's not about being here, it's about feeling the stretch. As long as you're feeling it, you're doing good. Take a deep inhale and then just flex your foot above your knee here, interlace your fingers underneath your left leg. Okay, switching side, extend your right leg on the floor, left leg straight up. Take a deep inhale here. And then same thing, flex your left foot above your right knee. And then you release, okay, roll to the side. Everyone, congratulations on this uh, 20 minutes soft Brooklyn bar. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please let me know in the comments or even post your workout on social media so we can spread the studio love. I always appreciate watching your stories and reposting them. So go ahead, please, please, please share your stories, comment below, and I will see you on the next one. Here's your double high five. See you next time, everyone. Good job today.